Hello guys, Dello304 here, and this is my newest acquisition. This is my uh, newest Craigslist acquisition, anyway. Um, this is going to be the Dell Power Edge 2300. And here, let me show you. Dell Power Edge 2300, right there. And it's got, well, I'll get, get the specs in a minute, but um, I got this for $25 on Craigslist. Uh, pretty good deal is from about 1999 ish so yeah okay so let's go over the specs it's got two 512 megahertz Pentium 3 processors it's got two of them like I said it's got six 9 gigabyte hard drives so 9 times 6 I believe is like 45 or something um, and then it's got 512 megabytes of RAM and it's running Windows 2000 again not sure well uh, I'm not sure which version so we're gonna go ahead and dismantle this thing. We're gonna take it apart. We're gonna see what's inside and what's out. I'm right here. Hello, people. And um, yeah, so it's in pretty good condition. It's got some scratching on it, but um, that's not bad for a 1999 server. It needs a little cleaning within the grills here. Um, but yeah, so I guess we can go over the drives first of all. It has one CD-ROM drive right here, one tape backup, which I'll probably never use. Uh, one three and a half inch floppy, and that's it. So I mean, very basic, dr or, uh, very basic drives. But uh, it's a server, so oops, sorry. So let me go ahead, and zoom out here, go down. Okay. So uh, I did not get the keys for this. We got the power light, the reset switch. Uh, I think. Let's see. Is it, I guess that's a hard drive light. Like that is a warning light right there. I'm not entirely sure for what. And then this, uh, I think there's, that's when a hard drive dies or something. Um, just to let you know, I'm not interested. I'm not. Um, let's see, I'm not literate about servers, but they shouldn't be that different. I'm gonna go and take the front cover off now. Okay, so it just pops down like that, and then it comes off. There's a lot. It's very dusty, but um, down there. See if I can move the camera. Down there we have nine SCSI hard drives. So um, they're all occupied, like I said, or six SCSI hard drives. They're all occupied, like I said. Uh, you just basically pull it out like this, comes out, and then you pull her out. So they're, I believe they're all IBM nine gigabyte hard drives. You can see nine gigabytes right there. So yeah, a little dusty. I, I anticipate it to be dusty inside. I haven't taken it apart yet, but there's a there's a server drive right there. And all the bays are filled, so I, you know, like I said, that's about 45 gigs of storage or so. Oh, I gotta pop it open like that. Oh, sorry. I feel like a noob. Okay, there. Go ahead and push it closed. Boom. Uh, yeah, okay, so I guess that's it. All these hard drives are full. Um, over here, I guess we can, oops. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up. There's three screws on each side over here, and that'll give us access to the internals. I'll take it off the. I'll take the camera off the tripod to give you a closer view once I'm done here. Okay, so let me go ahead and turn it to face the camera. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open the side. Ooh, dust bunnies! Holy nugget! Okay, so actually, this is probably cool to um, view. So let me go ahead and take the camera off the tripod. Oops, flip the display around. Turn the light on. And there we go. So this is like a diagram um, as a reference of about like system information, how to uh, you know configure some stuff, S S SCSI configurations, uh, default boot order right there, and then uh, yeah, system board and jumpers tells you pretty much everything about it, which is very awesome. Uh, but yeah, that's just a piece of paper. So let's go ahead and go inside the system, why don't we? So. Um, Let's see. Down here, uh, it doesn't look just a case fan, that's all. And then uh, just some extra cabling right there. Yep, extra cables that have probably never been used. You can see all the dust inside. Um, over here, I believe, is the SCSI controller for the hard drives. So they are hot swappable. Here we have one Pentium 3 and another Pentium 3. Are they slot 1? Wow, I think these are slot 1 processors. Holy crap. Cool. And then we have four RAM chips, which are all, with, which are all um, filled with uh, 128 mags each. You got another large, I believe, 120 millimeter case fan. 
we have a Ethernet. Wait. Uh, yes, I have this exact card actually, a parallel tasking too. I have that exact card in my custom built. Down here, I believe, let's see, what is this one? This one, that is a sound card right there. So we have uh, Ethernet sound card, we have a USB controller, another, uh, I think, mini SCSI or something, and then we have a large parallel port down there. And that's the biggest card in this bitch. Oh, wait, no, that's that. I'm getting a Skype call. Oh, wow. Okay, I'll answer it. Why not? Answer. Hey. Okay, hold on, guys. The sound is muted. Anyway, back to the server. I'm wasting valuable video time. Uh, yeah, two slot 1P3s, and there's one power supply up here. I believe it's pretty powerful, so that's cool. And then another case fan, like I said. I haven't booted this thing up yet, and that's what I'm getting ready to do. I'm just showing you the internals. Then we have some drive hookups there. Ah, man, the slot one processors. Um, I believe that's the north bridge right there. I'm not entirely sure. Um, oh, wow, we got an ISA slot that hasn't been used. A couple PCI slots. One PCI slot hasn't been used. I uh, wonder what that is. That port is right there. And then, ooh, whoa, major dustage. Look at that that's gonna need some cleaning but uh, anyway um, yeah I guess that's the end of this video I'm not gonna start it up because I have to configure it and all that crap uh, I'm gonna run GTA SA on this thing hopefully if it's powerful enough I'm gonna run it as a game server and if it's not powerful enough for that for whatever reason I'm gonna run it as a file server so yeah thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys later